Um, Dan Orlovsky yeah. said well, this I mean, on ESPN. I was not going to come on television today and be normal. So <laughs> this jacket is, is coming off. This jacket is coming off. I was at an 80s-themed party on Saturday night, right? Yeah, and I yeah. saw this jacket right this is from my brother-in-law. Right when he wore it, oh. I said, yo, <laughs> Burrow wins, Stafford wins, I'm putting it on. Allie, we are not making bump timing here. Oh, this is the all-time I told you so moment. This is a career-defining and legacy-changing throw from Matthew Stafford. So what all the you hell writers is that in Detroit jacket? that what for years, this is Maverick from Top Gun. All you writers in Detroit that for years told me your guy's not good enough. You were wrong. And all the fans in Detroit, and I know I love a lot of you guys that told me Matthew Stafford stunk, you were wrong. And all those people who send me stuff on the internet, memes saying all your guy does is pad stats, you were wrong. For years. I have told, and a small group of people have told everybody, Matthew Stafford is a great player. And you say, well, he doesn't win games. <laughs> he played in Detroit. He's never been to the playoffs and won a game. He played in Detroit. This was the moment that Matthew Stafford had to prove everybody wrong. And I said this a couple months ago. There is not a human being that plays in the NFL that when the game is on the line, and it is nut cutting time in the fourth quarter that I want the ball more than Matthew Stafford. Did you so I just have one question for you. Do you agree with that premise that because I, I mean, obviously, like the first guy that comes to mind, you know, Tom Brady is is Tom Brady. Would you not put would you not put Tom Brady in that situation? Yeah, so. Orlovsky did the Orlovsky thing. Um, he took a premise that was uh, correct. I, I think it, he was correct in his assessment that that was a career divining throw. But he did the Orlovsky thing and made it a bit goofy and took it way too far. Um, Stafford does have some of the, like, I believe it is the most um, game winning drive since he's been in the league, but he was with a terrible team. That doesn't shock me. I, I, I just think he took it a bit too far. Um, I would rather have Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes. I would rather have both of them. Um, I wouldn't mind Tom Brady in that situation. He just, to me, it's another Orlovsky comment. He just makes some, he just says some cheerleady stuff sometimes. He he gets weird about his comments. Some, some bonkers stuff. I mean, that's probably why he's on ESPN, to be honest. <laughs> you know, like, you say some say some shit that gets attention, and uh, there, I mean, there you are. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, again, it's, it's uh, like, yeah, I guess I guess you are right. I get you you are correct in saying that he's he was a franchise guy for Detroit. Detroit failed him. Is he elite? He could prove that. Do you have do you have any interest in seeing Stafford winning a Super Bowl? Or do you so, think this is it? This is done. This is he should just quit at, so Detroit can get that draft pick. At this point, it doesn't matter. Like the draft doesn't matter to me. I'm cheering for him to get a chip. Like I, I know um, some Detroit guys are going to be mad at me because there was those. Um, like I was one of the guys who was cheering for Verlander too when he got the World Series. Um, at the end of the day, it's just sports, and my allegiance isn't just to the Lions. It's also the people who kind of come through that organization. And Stafford was a guy who gave his heart to Detroit. He was a fun guy. So at this point, that draft capital is not going to change significantly enough for me to cheer against him so Plus, i'm just gonna detroit say detroit is set up detroit is set up like they are set up like what yeah. is it where I, I can't remember where it was god forgive me but um there was this one one piece that came out that was saying uh how detroit has the the best looking rebuild moving forward you know so they got nothing to worry about with the draft picks that they have coming up with the just I mean the the fact that normally NFL rebuilds can take anywhere from two to three years and so you know and and we're in year one and going into year two now and so you know if Detroit did this thing right which you know we we know the history there then you know may they they could have some I don't know I I think that Detroit would make will make the playoffs in two years the only thing and i and i and this is for another conversation i've i've always been a little skeptical and i still am of dan campbell a little bit like still a little skeptical yeah. you know rookie head coach like don't know you know didn't didn't give me a good first impression you know but we and we got work to do there so um 